The Lord of the Cranes A story from China High up on a mountain lived a wise old man. He was called Tian, Lord of the Cranes, because he looked after the cranes that lived near him. Sometimes the cranes told Tian stories about the city below. I should visit the city, he thought, to see if people are kind and generous to each other. So he flew through the clouds and down the mountain. In the city, he met a poor man. Please take these clothes and give me yours, Tian told him. The poor man was happy because Tian's clothes were warm and clean. All day and night, Tian walked through the streets dressed as a poor man. Nobody helped him or looked at him. One night, tired and hungry, he arrived at a small inn. The owner came to the door. I am Wu, the owner of the inn. Can I help you? He said. Could I have some food, please? Tian answered. I'm sorry, but I can't pay for it. Don't worry. Please come in, said Wu. He took Tian to a table and put some rice and meat in front of him. Enjoy, Wu said, smiling. Every night, Tian went to the inn, and Wu always gave him something to eat. Months passed, and one day Tian said to Wu, I owe you so much. How can I return your kindness? You don't have to, Wu said. I am happy to help. When he heard this, Tian took a bowl of water and threw the water on a wall. The water became a beautiful painting of flying cranes. Wu was very surprised. Ooh! Tian smiled and said, Tell your guests to start singing. Everyone started singing a wonderful song. Immediately, the cranes came out of the painting and danced. When the singing stopped, the cranes went back into the painting. Wu turned to thank Tian, but he was on his way out. Wait, who are you? Wu asked, but Tian just waved goodbye and left. From that day, people came to the inn to see the dancing cranes, and Wu became a rich man. Many years later, Tian came back to the inn. Wu was very pleased to see him. Oh, I am now a rich man because of you. How can I thank you? He asked. Teach people to be as kind and generous to others as you were to me, Tian said. And that's exactly what Wu did. He lived to be an old man and never forgot the wise words of the Lord of the Cranes. <laughs> 